Mary Murphy from Stafford is carrying a unique and fragile historical archive in desperate need of the expert intervention of bookbinder Hello. Chris Shaw. All right. <laughs> wow. I'm Jay. Greetings, I'm Mary. Hello. Chris. Hello, Chris. So, what have we got in a blanket? Um, you've got my grandma's postcard album. OK, let's have a look. It's in a tablecloth because you'll see that it's in a bit of a state. Oh, wow. It's, it's coming apart, look, it's all... I think that's such a modest way of putting it. It has, yeah. it has come apart. If you look at this as binding, it's not bound. And it's flaky. This is why I put it in this tablecloth. Okay. Because every time you open it or move it at all, it does this. Yeah, you, all of that, is, it's just perishing. It every, is, yes. So these are the postcards collected by... By my grandma, yes. Grandma. It was my mum's mum. Right. Born in Battersea, married and went to Ballam. Okay. We called her Grum because that's what we called her when we were little. Yeah, and Grum. so she remained Grum all my life. <laughs> and she virtually brought us up. So she started this as a little girl. Yes. I think that she left school when she was 13. Okay. But by 14 she was in service. A domestic servant in a house. So she collected postcards? Yeah. She did. She did. And she, wow. this goes from 1903 to the mid-30s. Wow. A lot of these are about her... Uh, are to and from her sisters. They're about everything. I mean, a lot of it's about, can you come to the music hall tomorrow night? Right. Or I'm feeling poorly, bring me apple pie. Okay. It's like hearing them talk. And I only have a new grandma when she was old, or yes. she seemed old, because yeah. we were kids and everybody's old. Yes. And yeah. so this is all them being young. And, and chatting and between each other. And yes. it's chat. It's I mean, a, this is... They conversation. Were, they would never have yeah. had the telephone, even no. when it was invented, because yes. they were far too poor for that. Yes. Okay. This is their texting. Right. Absolutely. Really. Really unusual. So, You've just got your whole family history and postcards of all things. Mm. It's, it's <laughs> just it's amazing. Scared but there's things it. like my grandma, her yeah. brother-in-law, being yeah. sent off to the front. Wow, in the first okay. war right. and there's it's from there from her mum so this is at the very beginning of the first world war yeah. dear emily a line to let you know will has gone away this morning from paddington katie was crying when they all called to balham for will to say goodbye right. you know yeah. and did he survive he did he became a milkman oh wow oh, yes right. oh it's a lovely object uh, and uh yeah, it's a real challenge. But it's, it's trying to make it really user-friendly for you. Yes, yeah. I, I don't know how yeah. to display them so that you can see the backs. Yes. Yeah. Because the backs tell us our story. Yeah. I mean, we've discovered relationships and family history just by looking at them. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, lovely. so yes. I don't know. The outside is still beautiful. I'd like the covers to be left yep. as like that, like that, because that's what Grandma handled. Yes. Yeah. It's never been anywhere. You it's know? never been left anywhere. It's never been outside us. But I think that it would be really, really lovely if you could bring it back to life for us. And so I um, take care of it. We will. Thank you. It's part of our family now, yeah. OK? <laughs> All right. Thank you. You take care now. Oh, oh bless you. All right. Thanks. I feel a bit nervous about handing it over, if I'm completely honest. But it's because you can hear them. You can just hear these people. And... And I just love it. I feel really quite teary. <laughs>